Today we're talking about how to survive Thanksgiving with your cray cray family. I'm going to give you seven different tips that you can implement and hopefully have a better Thanksgiving. Let's do it. So let's just start by being honest. Not everyone enjoys Thanksgiving with their family. Dysfunction is hella real. So let's just accept that. Let's move on from shaming ourselves and feeling ashamed. And let's move on to being proactive about our mental health. Number one, you're going to accumulate as many positive experiences as possible. So you're going to start this like a week or two before Thanksgiving. You're literally just trying to create for yourself as many positive experiences to help balance out the probable negative experiences of Thanksgiving. So this can mean having dinner with your friends, taking a bath, baking a pie, anything that makes you feel happy. Number two, you're going to build up your own confidence because real talk, a lot of people cannot stand Thanksgiving with their families because that whole experience is having your confidence taken down, 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 down. Um, right? So you're going to spend again the week or two weeks before Thanksgiving building yourself up. So this could mean going to the gym to build your strength. It could be picking up a new skill, like learning a new language. It could also mean finishing that video game that you started three months ago and then you just kind of stopped. It can be whatever you need to make yourself feel good and accomplished. Number three, you're going to make a game plan for yourself. So you know your family best. You know what triggers them. You know what people should not be talking to each other. You know the questions that they ask you that make you feel horribly uncomfortable and embarrassed. And yet they ask you every freaking time. Because you know all that, you can make plans ahead, right? You know the questions they're going to ask you. You're going to already make your answers or you're going to have like deflection questions or topics of conversation. If you know what two people shouldn't be together, you're going to devise a plan to help keep them apart. Those are things that you can do and you can try to to keep yourself centered and keep yourself mentally safe. Number four, you're going to take care of your physical self. So that means doing all the annoying things like eating healthy, making sure you get sleep, taking your medication, going to the doctor. And we're going to do that because one, your mental health is linked to your physical health. And two, because this is not a game. We are trying to survive Thanksgiving. And so this is all about trying to give yourself the best chance of survival. Number five, bring a buffer or bring buffers. So bring your friends or bring that random dude from work that you don't really know, but you know he has nowhere to go on Thanksgiving. And why would we do that? Well, all tea, some shade. There are some families who behave way better when there's a stranger there. Like, in my experience, Asian families. Like, that Asian shame kicks in and you want to portray a nice nice family family experience. experience. So you got to use that to your advantage. Number six, limit your time or don't even go. So, you know, there are people who are like, you know, if your family is so bad, why do you even go? And the answer for a lot of people is the guilt, the soul crushing guilt keeps me coming every year. That's a real thing. But you got to ask yourself what's actually going to be worse. If you're facing abuse when you see your family, is that abuse worse than the guilt you're going to have by not going? You know, that's a very real question. And it's a very important question that only you're going to know the answer to. And I hope whatever you choose, you pick what's really the safest for you. Last tip, number seven, you're going to plan how you're going to reward and or de-stress after Thanksgiving. So this might mean planning to go dancing with your friends after Thanksgiving dinner. This can mean going home and binge watching your favorite Netflix series under your weighted blanket. This can mean that you're going to go all out on Black Friday. Whatever will make you feel rewarded and self-soothed, you need to do that for yourself. And you should be proud that you attempted at all to make things better. I really do hope that you have a good Thanksgiving. But no matter what, I hope you know that whatever love and care you don't get on Thanksgiving Day, it's love and care that you can give yourself. And yes, you deserve love and you deserve care.